Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a little known piece of beat em up gold. It's Niketsu Oyako for the Sega Saturn. This game was developed and published by Technosoft of Thunder Force fame, and it was released in Japan only. First on the PlayStation as a launch title in 1994, and on the Saturn a year later. The title translates to Hot Blooded Family, and it tells the story of a family trying to rescue their genius scientist of a wife slash mother from an evil organization who has kidnapped her in order to force her to develop some kind of powerful weapon for them. So yeah, it's the standard rescue the kidnap victim plot used in so many other beat em ups. It's cliched, but if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. Which is a phrase that's applicable to most aspects of this game. Niketsu Oyako features three playable characters that fit into the standard beat em up archetypes of Powerhouse, Speedster, and Balanced Guy. But in addition to that, each character has a handful of powerful special moves that you can perform, which is very much appreciated. A lot of early 90s beat em ups didn't include special moves, or at least didn't feature more than one per character. And of course, each character can perform a super attack that does a ton of damage to all of the enemies on screen at the cost of a bit of health. There are also plenty of weapons to pick up, not just melee weapons mind you, but also rifles, machine guns, and even a rocket launcher, which is the best weapon in the game, but it's too heavy for the smaller characters and can only be wielded by the ultra buff Rondo. But on the other hand, he can't use the smaller guns for some reason. You'll find health power-ups in the form of food and drinks as usual, and there's another instance of an item only Rondo can make use of, and that's beer. He's the only one of legal drinking age. If you try to pick it up with Ryo or Tora, you'll be told it's for adults only. Bummer. Overall, this is a very fun beat-em-up that plays really well. It actually reminds me of some of Capcom's wackier entries into the genre, like Captain Commando or Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, for example. It's challenging, but not frustratingly so, except maybe for a couple of the cheaper boss fights. And the differences between the three characters, not only in their speed and power, but also their array of special moves and use of weaponry makes you want to try them all. They're each different, but equally badass. Technosoft is definitely more known for its great shooters than anything else, but when they did branch out into other genres, they pretty much always knocked it out of the park. And that's what they did here. This game is really fun. The presentation in Niketsu Oyako is also really good, if a bit unorthodox at times. The graphics and overall visual design are great, with a lot of color and detail in all of the stages, as well as some nice but rather wacky character design, but this is a game that goes for a more unusual look and feel at times. For example, the second stage takes place inside of and on the back of a whale, which swallows you at the end of stage one for no explained reason. Instances like this definitely let you know that this isn't exactly the most serious subject matter, and I like that. If nothing else, you can't say you've seen it in other beat-em-ups before. The sound design is also really good, the sound effects and voice clips sound great, and the soundtrack is excellent. It's pretty much entirely high-energy synth rock tracks that really match the intense feel of a good beat-em-up. I don't think it's quite as memorable as, say, Streets of Rage or Final Fight, but these tracks will definitely get you pumped for the brutal beatings to come. On the whole, this is a really well-made game. I might not have thought so going in, 
Again, Technosoft, not known for beat-em-ups, and as far as I know, this is their only venture into the genre. But what we get is decent visuals, great sound design, and ultra-fun gameplay. So this is a great game and highly recommended to fans of the classic beat-em-up style. It's really fun. Unfortunately, this is another instance of a game becoming exceptionally pricey in recent years. The Saturn version goes for more than $100 online, usually as much as $150 if not more, and the PS1 version can typically be found for $60 to $70, bucks, which isn't as bad but still more than I'd recommend paying for a game that won't take much time to complete. But if you can manage to borrow it from the internet for a while, then I wouldn't blame you, because this one is definitely worth playing. It's Neketsu Oyako, and it's awesome. <laughs> Oh, my God. 